When obtaining a 12 lead EKG, accurate lead placement is critical. The limb leads should be placed on the arms and legs. They should never be placed on the chest wall. The arm leads should be placed no higher than the tops of the arms or the upper biceps. The leg leads should never be placed higher than the hips. If you put them higher than the hips, then you can get respiratory variation, which causes artifact as well as having an altered look to your EKG. The precordial or chest leads should be placed on the chest wall. Please note that the leads are on the rib cage. None of the leads are on the abdomen. To place the precordial leads, we first place V1 and V2. We need to count down to the fourth intercostal space just to the left and right of the sternum. Remember that it is the center of the lead that will carry the signal, not the edge of the lead. So when we place V1 and V2 at the fourth intercostal space on the right and left sternal border, we are placing the center of the lead on the right and left sternal border, not the edge of the lead. The next lead we place is V4. Skip V3 for the moment. V4 needs to be placed at the midclavicular line about an inch below V2. Place V3 in a diagonal line between V2 and V4. Remember to look at the center of the lead versus the edge of the lead for more accurate lead placement. V6 is the next lead that is placed. Skip V5 for a moment. V6 should be placed on the far left side of the patient at the same level as V4 and at the mid-axillary line. Many people are surprised with how far to the side V6 is placed. Lead V6 is looking at the left side of the heart, so make sure it is placed correctly. V5 is finally placed. It is at the same level as V4 and V6, and it is equidistant between the two other leads. Poor lead placement is one of the fastest ways to get a cardiologist to sneer at your 12 lead EKG and no one wants to feel foolish. Remember, if you take the time to obtain the 12 lead, you should take the time to make sure it is correct. Your patient must be lying at a less than a 20 degree angle. Look at your patient carts and know ahead of time what a 20 degree angle looks like. If the patient is sitting upright, the EKG will not look right. The baseline will not be smooth. Body hair and motion are the two main reasons for artifact. Shaving a tiny area on your patient's chest in order to get a good EKG shouldn't take a lot of time and is worth the great 12 lead that you'll get afterward.